Welcome to your practice. The theme of this week's class is Surimba. We're going to begin in a seat. So if you have a pillow or a block or something, you might like to sit up on that. And you don't need any props necessarily, but if you do have a block or a book, you might like to use one for a half moon, revolved half moon. You can place it at the top of your mat as well. And whenever you're ready, you can to find your comfortable seat. And that could be cross-legged or maybe kneeling. You can let your hands rest slightly over your legs in some way, maybe your thighs, your knees. And you start to close down your eyes when you're ready. It's beginning to ground into your seat. Feeling the connection of your sitting bones with the surface beneath you. Maybe it's a pillow or maybe a mat. Feeling yourself supported here by the earth. Just taking a moment to acknowledge where you're at right now. Noticing how you're feeling. What you're bringing into this practice. And simply observing without judgment. And letting go of the day you've already had anything coming later in the day or evening. And so to bring yourself into the present moment and connecting with your breath. Beginning to guide your awareness toward your breathing. And just noticing the natural ebb and flow of your breath. Noticing that movement of prana as you inhale and exhale. And this little rising and falling of energy. And finding some more length through your spine. As you ground down through your sitting bones, start to lengthen your spine, reaching the crown of your head up. And you soften, relax your shoulders back and down, creating some more space across your chest, your shoulders sliding down away from your ears. And relaxing your face. Starting to invite in some deeper breaths. Feeling the breath fill your belly, your lungs as you breathe in. And then slowly releasing, and finding that soft belly, and grounding down as you exhale. Belly expanding and contracting like a balloon. And so this week we're going to be exploring the intention of surrender. Opening up to what is. When we allow ourselves to accept things as they are, and to accept ourselves as we are in the present, 
and then start to let go of all the things that are holding us up. All the things we no longer need. And instead of pushing and striving, resisting. And we can start to build that sense of trust within ourselves. In our bodies. In our intuition. Really trusting in the flow of life. We can be fully present and fully connected. All things are unfolding around us. The Ujjayi breath is a part of your practice. And feel free to introduce that now. And finding a slight contraction at the base of your throat. And you continue to breathe in and out through your nose. And you're finding that audible sea-like breath. Take three more deep breaths together. Whenever you finish your three breaths, you need to connect your palms in front of your heart space. An Anjali Mudra. And we'll open the practice together with a single cleansing breath. And take a full, deep inhalation through your nose. And open up, exhale. And you can bow your head toward your heart. And to release your hands back down. Keeping your eyes closed here if you like, or maybe fluttering your eyes open if you prefer. As you inhale, start to expand your arms out wide, palms connect overhead. And then exhaling, drawing your breath through heart center. And inhale, expand open with the arms, maybe tilting the face up, palms touch. And then exhale, and drawing your palms down in front of your heart. One more like that, breathing in and breathing out. And the next time, inhaling, palms touch overhead. And then as you exhale, you can twist your torso toward the right. So left hand toward your right knee, right fingertips grounding behind you. And take a breath in to create some more space through your vertebrae. And then breathing out to rotate a little bit deeper. And the next inhalation, raising your arms up overhead, moving through center. And then exhale, you can twist in the opposite direction. The torso twisting to the left, right hand towards your left knee, and left fingertips behind you. Breathing in, lengthen your spine. And breathing out, and you're finding a bit of a deeper rotation. And inhale, raising your arms up. Last time through center, palms touch. And then exhale, you can glide your palms in front of your heart space. If your eyes were closed, you're beginning to open them back up. And then from here, we're going to come to all fours. You can remove any props out from underneath you. And come to find your all fours. You're standing up with your knees under your hips, your wrists under your shoulders. You can spread your fingers. And before we move through some spinal movements, cutting cow, it's going to 
and draw some circles with the body. So as you inhale, start to shift your body forward and toward the right. And then as you exhale, draw your hips back toward your heels and circle toward the left. So inhale, we sweep the body forward. And then exhale, drawing the body back. Just waking up the wrists a little bit. Let's do one more in this direction. And then reversing, moving counterclockwise now, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Let's do one final one. This time, can inhale back forward. And just settle back as you exhale into your all fours. Again, make sure the knees are under the hips, shoulders over your wrists. And then as you breathe in here, finding a cow pose, you start to drop your belly, tilt your pelvis out, open through your heart. Maybe look up. And then as you exhale, you can start to tuck your chin, press down through your hands, to round your back. So inhale, hips lift, and space across the chest. And then as you exhale, round your back. So you're puffing into the back of your heart. Just moving through a few of these in your own time with your own breath. If there's any other kind of movement you prefer to take here, feel free to explore that. We'll take with two more full cycles of breath. Maybe you finish your cycles of breath. Come back to find your neutral or pause position. And then from here. As you engage your core, press the ground away. As you inhale, start to extend your right leg behind you. Instead of letting your hips open, keep your hip bones facing down. And keep drawing the belly in here. And just pause for a breath. Get another breath in. And then as you exhale, start to pivot your left shin back. So it's about 90 degrees. And then you can place your right foot down on the mat. And your left shoulder and left wrist are pretty much aligned. And inhale, take your right arm up to the sky. And support it side plank. You need to stay here or maybe start to float your right foot off the mat. And take another inhale. And a full exhale. And you can place your right foot down, foot is lifted. And raise the torso up. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you can place your right hand down somewhere along your right leg to lift your left arm up and arc toward the right. And finding a gate pose. Revolving your chest open here, maybe looking up. And you're going to flow a little bit with the breath. So take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, sweep forward. So circling around with your left hand. And you can place it either somewhere in line with your shin, or maybe if you want a deeper back bend, your hand might come to your left ankle. And inhale, you're gonna circle the right arm open. So you're finding a good heart opening here. So inhale. And then exhale, flowing forward. Inhale to open, gate pose. And exhale, left arm floats forward and round. And inhale, circle the right arm open. Press through the hips. And so exhaling to flow forward and inhaling to open the heart. Do one more. Push an extra one, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you can circle your way back around and find your all fours. And from here, you can take your Knees met with big toes together and just sink your hips back toward your heels for a moment. Combining a child's pose. 
can make this one quite active by keeping the forearms lifted and maybe walking your hands a little bit further away. Your head sinking back toward your heels. Remember, you can always come back to this child's pose at any time throughout the practice. Anytime you need a pause or you need to come back to your breath. And the next inhale, start to rise back up, all fours. And prepare for the other side. So from here, you can inhale, extend your left leg behind you. You can point the foot or flex the foot you choose. And see if you can keep the hip bones facing down. Press down through your hands, core is engaged, neck is long. Lifting up through the lower belly. And pause for another breath. And take another inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're going to pivot your right shin back this time, about 90 degrees. You can place your left foot onto the mat and then take your left arm up toward the sky. And either stay here or maybe start to float your left foot off the floor. Just kind of supported side plank variation. Maybe gazing up if it's okay for your neck. And take another inhale. And then exhale, you can set your left foot back down. And as we inhale, we're going to come up onto the right shin. And then exhale into that gate pose. So this time, left hand toward the left leg. Right arm is up and overhead. Maybe looking up. And we'll flow again with the breath. So take an inhale here. And exhale to circle, drape the arm, the torso forward. Round the left hand, inhale, start to open through the right arm, left arm rather, send the hips forward. And exhale, we circle forward, left hand toward left shin. And exhale forward. Inhale, find an openness. And then exhale, moving into a gate pose. You can flow through a couple of these with your breath. Exhaling to drape forward and inhale to find extension. One more. And last time, inhale, engage. And, and then as you exhale, you can circle your hands back round. Put the back to find your all fours. And from here, you can tuck your toes under. Walk your hands about one palm print further forward. You start to send your hips back towards your heels and then slowly start to straighten your legs, finding your downward facing dog. And finding any movement here that feels good for you and your body. Maybe pedaling out through your feet, bending one knee at a time. Notice if your hands are about shoulder width apart and feet are about hip width apart. And lower ribs drawing in. Your tailbone is lifting up toward the sky. As if you can kind of draw your torso closer toward your thighs. And pausing here for one more breath. And from here, your next inhale, you're going to wave the spine forward. You just have to come high onto your tippy toes. And then wave your spine forward until your shoulders come over your wrists, high plank. And then as you exhale, think of your cow pose. So you can bend your knees, start to arch your back and slide yourself forward. So inhale, kind of thinking cat pose as you come forward into your high plank. And as you draw your hips back, find your kind of cow pose that arch through your spine. So inhale, flowing forward to plank. And exhale, making your way back and downward facing up. Two more in your own time. And settling in your downward facing up. And you start to walk your hands back toward your feet. Your feet will be about hip width. We're kind of forward fold here. Maybe catching opposite elbows. Maybe letting your arms dangle. 
bend your knees as much as you need to here to support your lower back so your power is into your core. You have your elbow to release your hand. Start to bend your left knee. You place your right hand down underneath your face. And inhale, raise your left arm to the sky. Finding a gentle twist. Take another breath in. And then exhale, lower it down. And this time, bend your right knee. Left hand grounds. Inhale, right arm rises. And take another inhale. And then exhale, take your hand back down to the ground. And to walk your hands back forward into your high plank. Your shoulders are over your wrists. Heels are drawing back. Notice if you're collapsing through your hips or through your belly. Really press the ground away. The neck is long. Your core is engaged. You just shift yourself forward and back over your wrists a little bit. Again, waking up the wrists a little bit more. Also using that core strength. One more breath, yeah. Finding your neutral, take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, your choice, knees up or down, start to make your way all the way down onto your belly. Elbows wrapping in. You can bring your fingertips a little wider than your mat, kind of cupping or tenting your fingertips, either in line with your shoulders or a bit further forward. Inhale, wave your spine up. Your fingertip cobra. And exhale, melt your heart back down to the earth. Inhale, waving up. Core is engaged to support your back. And exhale down. Last one, breathing in. Press into the tops of your feet. And exhale, release into the earth. Press your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, pressing up over your knees. And then exhale, find your downward facing dog. And pause here for one breath. And slowly start to bring your gaze forward. And start to walk your feet again toward your hands, sitting them hip width. Bring your hands on your shins and inhale, find a halfway lift. Your spine is long. And pause as you exhale. Another inhale. And exhale, slow down. Inhale, rise all the way up. Palms touch overhead. And exhale, release your hands in front of your heart. Move through a couple of sunnays. As you inhale, expand the arms, palms touch. Maybe look up. And then exhale. Folding forward. Breathing into your flat back, maybe hands to shins or also bend your knees, fingertips to the floor. And then exhale, place your hands down, step back, high plank. And take a breath in in your high plank. And then as you exhale, knees up or down, lower yourself all the way onto your belly. Keep the hands in line with the chest now and inhale, find the cobra. And then as you exhale, press straight back, downward facing dog. And we'll stay here for two more breaths. And start to bend your knees, bring your gaze forward, and step or float your feet toward your hands. Find a flat back as you breathe in. And folding forward, breathing out. Inhale, rise up. And then as you exhale, flowing all the way back down to the earth. And lengthen your spine, inhale. And then grounding your hands again, stepping back, high plank. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, maybe lowering halfway through chaturanga. Maybe 
rising up this time as you inhale into an upward facing dog. That's okay for your spine. And then exhaling your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Maybe a little bit slower. Really connect with the movement. And then rushing through. And trying to stay present. I'll take one more breath here. And we can bend your knees again, look forward. In your joints stepping or floating to the top of your mat. And flat back, breathe in. And forward, forward, breathe out. Rising up tall, inhale. And this time, hands through heart center. Exhale. And sit your feet together if they're not already. Start to bend your knees. Inhale, raise your arms up alongside your ears. Maybe sinking back a little bit deeper into your chair. Weight is in your heels. You could lift your toes off the mat. Lower ribs are wrapping in. Take another breath in. And bow forward. Extend your spine as you inhale. And this time, grounding your hands, stepping or jumping back, high to low plank as you exhale. Knees could be up or down. Either inhaling into upward facing dog or maybe cobra. And then exhaling, hips lift to the sky, downward facing dog. And then inhale, raise your right leg up. And then as you exhale, draw your knee toward your nose and step your foot lightly in between your hands. Lower your left knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, start to sink your hips a little bit, still engaging your core. Take another inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're going to draw in between your hip bones you're going to find a twist. So your left arm's going to extend forward, right arm's going to extend back. And keep engaging your core here. And pausing for a breath. On your next inhale, you're going to take your right hand to the back of your left thigh. Your left arm's going to lift up. And reversing that twist. Take another breath in. And then as you breathe out, spin your hands to frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, ground through your feet. You're going to start really slow to inhale, peel ourselves up. And exhale, you can complete the movement, arms alongside your ears. Breathing in, find your cactus arms and open through your chest. And then as you breathe out, we're going to sweep the arms forward. You're going to bring your torso forward over your front leg. Inhale, you're gonna open back up, cactus arms. Maybe find a back bend. And exhale, sweep forward. Inhale to open. Thumb in the legs. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, open. And we're gonna find a warrior two as you exhale. So spinning your back heel down. Arms alongside your chest. Knee ankle lined. And as you inhale, let's just bring your arms up alongside your ears. And then as you exhale, engage your core here. Keep your legs exactly as they are. Start to tilt your torso backwards a little bit. And keeping that length through the side body as much as you can. You can inhale, come back through center. And then exhale, tilt the torso forward. I'm finding more of a diagonal forward. Heart is rotating open. Inhale, center. And then exhale, tilt back. Keeping your legs where they are. Inhale, center. And exhale. Then take one last final inhale and center. And then as you exhale, you can spin your hands down to the mat and step back and move through your variation of flow. You could be three legged, chaturanga, you could be straight back to downward facing dog. And leaning back and downward facing dog. We're going to do this on the left side a little bit slower. We'll move through it a little bit faster. Left leg extends up and back, breathe in. And then step it forward, breathing out. Lower your back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, find that low lunge. 
as you exhale, so to sink your hips. You're really opening through your right hip flexor. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, find that twist. Right arm draws forward, left arm draws back. Keep drawing in between your hip bones. And then from here, take your left hand to the back of your right thigh. Inhale, right arm lifts. You're sort of reversing this twist. And then exhale, take your hands to frame your front foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. On your inhale, slowly start to peel yourself up. And then exhale, finish the movement, arms lift. You can adjust your feet if you need to. Inhale, find your cactus arms. To open through the heart. And then exhale, drape yourself forward, sweep your arms forward. Inhale, open your chest. And then exhale, sweeping forward, torso draws forward. Inhale. And exhale. And last time, inhale, heart opens. Warrior two, exhale. Adjust your feet if you need to here. Again, front knee tracking in line with your ankle. Inhale, sweep the arms up and alongside your ears. And as you exhale, keeping your legs where they are, put to tilt your torso backwards. Just lengthening through your side body there. Inhale through center. And then exhale, tilting forward. And center, breathe in. And drawing back, exhale. And waking up the core, inhale. And exhale. Last time, breathing in. And then exhale, you can frame the front foot. And again, step back, finding your variation of vinyasa. Breathing into your back bend. And then breathing out and down the facing dog. And pause here for three breaths. And then flow through on each side again. A little bit faster. One movement, one breath. Right leg extends up and back on your inhale. And set your foot between your hands, breathing out, lower your back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, find your twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, right arm to the back of the left leg, left arm lifts. And exhale, frame the front foot with your hands, tuck the toes, lift your back knee. Now really slowly as you inhale, start to peel yourself up. And exhale, raise your arms alongside your ears. Inhale, find that cactus shape with your arms. And then exhale, drape yourself forward. Inhale, cactus. And then exhale, draping forward last time. I'm going to inhale, cactus. And warrior two, exhale, grounding your back foot. Inhale, arms alongside your ears. And then exhale, find that reverse warrior variation, using your abdominal strength. Inhale, center. Then exhale forward, and side angle variation. Inhale, center. And then exhale, take your hands to frame your front foot. Then either step back, downward facing dog, or flow through your vinyasa. Take your time. And last side. Left leg lifts up and back, breathe in. Step forward, breathing out. Lower your back knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, twisting over your left leg. Inhale to reverse that twist. Lift up through your right arm. And breathing out, hands frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift the knee. Inhale, slowly start to peel yourself up. And exhale, arms lift. Inhale, cactus. And exhale, drape yourself forward, sweep your arms forward. Breathing in to open the heart. And breathing out, sweep forward. 
Last time, inhale. And warrior two, exhale. Inhale, arms alongside your ears. And exhale, tilting back. And engage your core here. Inhale, center. And exhale, leaning forward. Revolve your heart open. Breathing in, lift. And breathing out, take your hands down. Stepping straight back, downward facing dog. Or flowing through your vinyasa. Meeting back and down with facing dog. Take a deep inhale. You can either stay here as you exhale, or maybe start to lower your knees and find a child's pose. Whatever you are choosing to do today, if you can really connect to that sense of surrender, fully being present. Letting go of anything that might have happened. Letting go of expectations about what might be to come. And just really let yourself sink into your body. Becoming present and engaged with your breath. Any sensations that might be present. And stay here for a couple more breaths. And from here, you can take as much time as you need. So to find your way back to your downward facing dog. Again, no rush. We're gonna inhale your right leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, throw your shoulders over your wrists, right knee to your right tricep, hips are lifted. Extend the leg up to the sky and an in breath. And this time, knee to nose. So exhaling forward. Inhale, we're gonna take it back again. And this time, as you exhale, take your knee across toward your left elbow. And then you can extend the leg forward, or through rather, and then into a forward triangle. So spin down, you can ground through your left foot. You can inhale, start to lift your left arm. Turn the blade edge of your right foot here. And keep lifting your hips. You can also make this more of a back bend if you want. Be opening up through the chest a little bit more of the hips. Take another inhale. And then exhale, you can circle your left hand back down, draw the knee in. Breathing in, straight in the leg. You like a dog. And then exhale, flipping your foot forward in between your hands. Now take an inhale here, back knee lifted. Send your heart forward. And then as you exhale, start to shift your hips back and kind of straighten your front leg. It doesn't have to be all the way straight. Inhale forward. And then exhale, draw your hips back. Two more. The last one. Now let's know when you move forward. You to inhale, draw yourself forward. But take your hands a bit further in front of your right foot, and you're going to find a supported warrior three. The same as warrior three, but with your fingertips grounded. Your spine is long. You can be here on your fingertips, and you could use a block or a book if you have one. You're really squaring your hip here. So your left toes are facing down rather than out to the side. Take another long inhale. And full exhale. We're going to take, turn this into a revolved half moon. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to lift your right hand off the mat keeping length through your spine, and then raising your right arm up toward the sky. Or you could also take it to your sacrum or your hip. 
if you prefer. So keep that warrior three through your legs. Just your mid to upper back is twisting. Another inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna take your right hand back down to the floor. And then your next inhale, you're gonna find a half moon. So start to float now. The left arm up, stacking your hips. And finding as much openness as you can here. Take another in breath. And then as you exhale, you can keep your right hand where it is slowly landing the back foot toward the back edge of the mat. And inhale, rising up into your warrior two. And straighten your front leg. You can spin your feet so they're parallel, or maybe toes in a little bit, heels out, hands on hips. Breathe in. And breathe out, start to fold forward. And wide legged forward fold. You can place your hands down underneath your shoulders. You can inhale to lengthen your spine. And then exhale, bow a little bit deeper. And be walking your hands back in line with your feet. And you can take opposite elbows, I mean, opposite ankles. Not opposite ankles, the same ankles. Holding in for one more breath. And then from here, take another breath in. And then as you exhale, you're going to pivot yourself, finding a low lunge again. And ground your hands, stepping back, finding your high plank. And make sure your feet are about hip width here. It moves through some we're flowing side planks. So start to shift your hips toward, your heels rather, toward the left. And then you can inhale, take your right arm up toward the sky. And the knife edge of both feet. Exhale, you're going to lower the right hand, lift the heels. And then inhale, shifting the other way. So left arm lifts. Exhale through center. Inhale, right arm lifts, pivoting the heels. Exhale, center. Last one. Inhale, left arm lifts. And then exhale, circle the hand down. And send your hips up to the sky. And take a deep inhalation here. And a full open up exhale. Moving on to the other side. You can sweep your left leg up as you breathe in. And then left knee. Left tricep, breathing out. Inhale, take it up and back. And knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, take the leg up and back. And this time as you exhale, left knee, right tricep. And then start to extend the right leg, so you're on the left leg rather, the knife edge of the left foot. And then inhale, right arm lifts. And again, you might want to make this more of a back bend be an option. Take another inhale to lift your hips. And then exhale, sock your right hand down, left knee in toward your chest. Breathing in, three-legged dog. And then breathing out, you can step your foot forward again. Take an inhale here, back leg is lifted, heart draws forward. And exhale, just straighten your front leg, bowing your torso toward your leg. Breathing in, bending the knees, sinking through the hips. And breathing out. Two more. Now this time as you inhale, you're going to start to bend your knee, bring your hands a little bit further forward, and then find your warrior three variation. So again, hip is closed here. Right pinky toe faces down. Right leg is super active. Imagine you're stamping your back wall. Side body is long. And take an inhale here. You're gonna find that revolved 
half moon. So as you exhale, this time the left hand floats off the mat. You can either extend it straight up to the sky if that's available, or to your hip, or to your sacrum. So your sacrum's flat here, so pelvis is still neutral. The rotation's coming from your upper, from mid to upper back. And keep active through your right leg. Take another inhale. And then exhale, you're going to take your right hand, left hand down rather. And then this time as you inhale, find your half moon. So your right hand starts to float off the mat this time. And starting to stack your hips, stack your shoulders. And gazing down if you need a little bit more support with your balance. Maybe gazing up. Take another expansive inhale. And then slowly as you exhale, you can ground your right toes toward the back of the mat. And then rising up, warrior two. Inhale. And you can adjust your feet if you need to. Inhale, straighten your front leg. And exhale, pivot your feet. They're parallel. Interlace your hands behind your back as you breathe in and lift your heart. And breathe out. Bowing forward. And one more breath with your hands like this. And place your hands down in front of you. You also have to walk them a bit further forward. So it's kind of like a wide legged downward facing dog. Press away through your hands. As you inhale, start to bend your knees, gaze forward, sink your hips. And then exhale, straighten your legs forward. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and exhale, straight up. One more. Now start to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Take a breath in, long spine. And as you breathe out, look at your hands, you're facing the top of your mat, left leg is forward. And then step your left leg back. So you're in your high plank. Start to pivot your heels toward the right. Inhale, left arm lifts. And exhale through center. Inhale, heels to the left, right arm lifts. And exhale through center. One more each side. And sending your hips back, down the facing dog. No option here to throw it. Flow through one final vinyasa. Maybe inhaling, ripping your spine forward. Maybe super slow exhaling through chaturanga. Breathing in upward facing dog or cobra. And breathing out and downward facing dog. And pausing here for three. I don't know about you, but it's like a sauna in this room. Stopped. <laughs> Taking one more breath here. Next inhale, we're going to wave for high plank. And then either lowering into your forearm plank from here as you breathe out. You can also lower your knees. And lower your forearms from here. So your elbows and shoulders are aligned. You keep your knees down or maybe extend your legs. So keep pressing the ground away. And drawing back through your heels. And this if you're sinking through your hips or overly lifting your hips, you can find that kind of neutral point. Take another inhale. And then slowly as you exhale, start to lower your thighs, hips, and belly. Untuck your toes, press into the tops of your feet. And you should land in a kind of sphinx pose. The forearm parallel. Lift your heart, inhale. And then exhale, widen your elbows, sliding down. And then to lay down onto your belly. And take your arms alongside your body, palms facing down. 
Yeah, you feel locust pose. Press your hip bones into the mat. Engage your core. Activate your thighs so your kneecaps lift. And as you inhale, start to lift your chest off the mat. Hands lifting. Either staying here or maybe you want to float your legs. If you're floating your legs, see if you can kind of tilt your big toes so they're sort of pointing toward each other. So activating your inseam of your legs and protecting your lower back. Take another big breath in. And breath out, grounding down. Turning one cheek to the mat. And just pause here. I'm going to do one more back bend. So you could either do locust, same as before. You could also do a bow if you like. If you're doing a bow and coming back through center, to bend your knees and then either catch the tops of your feet or catch your ankles and flex your feet. And belly is on, hip bones root into the earth. Inhale, you start to press your legs away from you as your heart lifts. Maybe your thighs lift as well. Your knees are about hip width, so they're not super wide and they're not completely squeezing together. Another full, expansive breath in. And then melting down, release. Exhale. You're turning the other cheek down. You shift your hips a little bit from side to side. And then place your hands under your shoulders. And then shift back, child's pose. And softening here for a few breaths. Any, any variation of child's pose you like. And fully surrender in the present moment. Finding a kind of openness and curiosity for what's happening right now. That could be maybe noticing your breath. You could be noticing all the little waves of sensation. All the aliveness that is right here. Kind of openness, curiosity. Acceptance rather than resisting the flow of life, we're surrendering to it, opening up. And taking two more breaths in your child's pose. As you're ready, start to find your downward facing dog again. And pause in your downward facing dog for one breath cycle. And from here, you're going to start to bend your knees, look forward. And this time, you can step or jump, crossing your ankles. You can start to place your sitting bones down onto the mat. We're going to a forward fold, so your choice, either Hashimotanasana, kind of regular forward fold, or if you prefer, you could also bring the soles of your feet together and fold forward from there, so kind of butterfly with your legs. Just notice what you would prefer in your body today, wherever you are. Inhale, first lengthening your spine. Maybe if you're in Hashimotanasana, you might lift your arms. And then exhale, start to bow forward. And just let your hands land where they land. And let go of any efforting. We can really gently surrender to exactly where you're at. Like using your hands in either of these variations to kind of pull yourself forward. 
some kind of inner softening here. One more breath. Slowly as you inhale, you can lengthen your spine. And then exhale, we're gonna make our way down onto our backs. And take your time rolling down and finding your way onto your back. And then from right here, just to bring your right knee in toward you. You can kind of Draw some circles with your right knee in either direction. And gently switching that direction. And releasing your right hip. And you can catch your right knee with your left hand and take your right arm open on a T shape or cactus. And then gently start to draw your right knee toward the left side of your mat. And keeping your right shoulder sinking down. Maybe gazing toward your right hand. It's okay with your neck. And finding that gentle surrendering energy here. Without pulling or pushing. Everything just be as it is. One more breath on this side. In your own time, make your way back through center. Give your right knee one final squeeze in. Maybe drawing it up toward your right shoulder. And then release the leg long and switch sides. Bring your left knee in toward your chest. You start to draw some circles. In your best direction of your circles. And then you can keep catching your left knee with your right hand, your left arm out to the side to a T or cactus. And gently welcome your left leg over toward the right side, keeping your left shoulder grounded. Your left knee might come all the way to the floor. Maybe it's elevated. Both okay. And we start to open up to what is. And allow things to be as they are, You're not resisting what's happening. Finding that sense of curiosity for what is. It's the surrendering. And start to find a sense of freedom. When you're ready, make your way back through center. And maybe hug your left knee in again, maybe draw it up toward your left shoulder. Take an inhale. And exhale, release the leg. It's like a happy baby, actually. So you can catch your feet from inside or outside, bending your knees, soles of your feet up toward the ceiling. And notice if your lower back's lifting, 
Maybe catch your ankles or a little bit further down your legs. And either find stillness here or maybe rock a little bit from side to side. Whenever you are ready, try to make your way into our final pose, into Shavasana, letting your legs extend long, bringing your feet in that width, widening your arms, palms up, and gently scanning your body and notice if you are holding on to any tension and gently let that go. And your physical body is softening. Your inner body is softening. And fully surrendering to the earth beneath you. Natural Welcome to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you like. Feel free to just turn off the video, close your computer. And we're starting to find some depth with your breath again. Gently moving your fingers and your toes. And rolling out your wrists and your ankles. And if you like, maybe taking a full body stretch.
Enjoy your knees and toward your chest. Maybe rocking a little bit side to side, massaging the lower back. If you're ready, let your knees fall toward the right side. And you can gently make your way back up to a comfortable seat. And take your time, no rush. And when you get there, you're closing the eyes again or open. Bring your palms back, connect together in front of your heart. Just like we started. Anjali Mudra. Maybe taking a moment to check in again. Noticing maybe if there's been a shift in your energy. Maybe not. Just noticing without judging. And we'll seal our practice together with a final cleansing breath. So breathe in deeply through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Bowing your head toward your heart. Honoring yourself and the teacher within you. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice. Peace.